Born Maria Skłodowska on November 7, 1867, Marie Curie became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the first person, man or woman, to win the award twice. Curie's efforts, with her husband Pierre Curie, led to the discovery of polonium and radium and, after Pierre's death, the further development of X-rays. The famed scientist died on July 4, 1934. Marie Curie discovered radioactivity, and, together with her husband Pierre, the radioactive elements polonium and radium, while working with the mineral pitch blend. Fascinated with the work of Henri Becquerel, a French physicist who discovered that uranium casts off rays weaker than the X-rays found by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, Marie Curie took his work a few steps further. Curie conducted her own experiments on uranium rays and discovered that they remained constant, no matter the condition or form of the uranium. The rays, she theorized, came from the element's atomic structure. This revolutionary idea created the field of atomic physics. Curie herself coined the word radioactivity to describe the phenomena. Following Marie's discovery of radioactivity, she continued her research with her husband. Working with the mineral pitch blend, the pair discovered a new radioactive element in 1898. They named the element polonium, after Marie's native country of Poland. They also detected the presence of another radioactive material in the pitch blend, and called that radium. In 1902, the Curies announced that they had produced a d-essigram of pure radium, demonstrating its existence as a unique chemical element. Marie married French physicist Pierre Curie on July 26, 1895. They were introduced by a colleague of Marie's after she graduated from Sorbonne University, Marie had received a commission to perform a study on different types of steel and their magnetic properties and needed a lab to work in. A romance developed between the brilliant pair, and they became a scientific dynamic duo who were completely devoted to one another. At first Marie and Pierre worked on separate projects. But after Marie discovered radioactivity, Pierre put aside his own work to help her with her research. Marie suffered a tremendous loss in 1906, when Pierre was killed in Paris after accidentally stepping in front of a horse-drawn wagon. Despite her tremendous grief, she took over his teaching post at the Sorbonne, becoming the institution's first female professor. In 1911, Marie Curie's relationship with her husband's former student, Paul Langevin, became public. Curie was derided in the press for breaking up Langevin's marriage, the negativity in part stemming from rising xenophobia in France. In 1897 Marie and Pierre Curie welcomed a daughter, a Wren. The couple had a second daughter, Eve, in 1904. Arangelio Curie followed in her mother's footsteps, winning the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935. Gilio Curie shared the honor with her husband, Frederic Orleo, for their work on the synthesis of new radioactive elements. Marie Curie was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the first person, man or woman, to win the prestigious award twice. She remains the only one to be honored for accomplishments in two separate sciences. In 1903, Curie received the Nobel Prize in Physics, along with her husband and Henri Becquerel, for their work on radioactivity. With their win, the Curies developed an international reputation for their scientific efforts, and they used their prize money to continue their research. In 1911, Curie won her second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for her discovery of radium and polonium. While she received the prize alone, she shared the honor jointly with her late husband in her acceptance lecture. Around this time, Curie joined with other famous scientists, including Albert Einstein and Max Planck, to attend the first Solvay Congress in Physics and discuss the many groundbreaking discoveries in their field. When World War I broke out in 1914, Curie devoted her time and resources to helping the cause. She championed the use of portable X-ray machines in the field, and these medical vehicles earned the nickname Little Curies. After the war, Curie used her celebrity to advance her research. She traveled to the United States twice, in 1921 and in 1929, to raise funds to buy radium and to establish a radium research institute in Warsaw. Marie Curie died on July 4, 1934, 
of aplastic anemia, believed to be caused by prolonged exposure to radiation. She was known to carry test tubes of radium around in the pocket of her lab coat, and her many years working with radioactive materials took a toll on her health. Marie Curie made many breakthroughs in her lifetime. Remembered as a leading figure in science and a role model for women, she has received numerous posthumous honors. Several educational and research institutions and medical centers bear the Curie name, including the Curie Institute and Pierre and Marie Curie University, UPMC. In 1995, Marie and Pierre Curie's remains were interred in the Pantheon in Paris, the final resting place of France's greatest minds. Curie became the first and one of only five women to be laid to rest there. In 2017, the Pantheon hosted an exhibition to honor the 150th birthday of the pioneering scientist. In 1937, Eve Curie wrote the first of many biographies devoted to her famous mother, Madame Curie, which became a feature film a few years later. The story of the Nobel laureate was back on the big screen in 2017 with Marie Curie, The Courage of Knowledge, featuring Polish actress Karolina Groszka.